Hello again, everyone. High pressure. This is it right here. It's been causing a real hot summer all across the south, the southwest as well. Those excessive temperatures, and we've been having that surge of heat from time to time. And over the past couple of days, like yesterday, hitting 92, just a few degrees high of the record. Uh, here we go with a cold front that's coming in from the west. Now, this is going to mostly go by and affect northern sections, but this cold front will drape through the region, kicking our wind up, might even trigger a stray mountain thunderstorm in the early wee morning hours going through the Boise mountains up towards Custer County. We're going to get a breezy day tomorrow. We're going to get a cooler day tomorrow. Uh, but again, a lot of clear skies are like the sunshine. As the sun comes up, you might see a little cloud cover southeast of Boise, but that's it. That will push to the east. Here's the picture today. You see a lot of orange on our high temperature map of 80s in the valleys, 70s in the mountains. Notice the green here around Jackson up towards Bozeman. It's still red here. As I change to tomorrow, you don't really see too much of a change for Idaho, but see a lot more green showing up over here. So it is cooling, especially in the higher elevations as we go from west to east and our temperature will drop a good six to eight degrees for the high temperature tomorrow. So a refreshing day. I'm not a big fan of the wind, but if you don't mind the breeze, tomorrow's going to be a really, really nice day coming up with a nice breeze blowing through uh, the region and we're going to get some really dry air coming in. That means the sky could turn a very deep blue. However, what's stopping it from being completely blue is this, the fire here that's burning. You'll see it right in here uh, you see it right there. That's some smoke that make it's a controlled burn that may bring some smoke into the valley, but I think that they may be tempering that fire as the cold front comes through tonight. Doesn't look like as much smoke today, and so that could give us a deep blue skies we go through the next couple of days like Wednesday, Thursday and maybe into Friday. But look at these temperatures for Valley County. 69 degrees for the high temperature tomorrow after being in the 70s today, then low to mid 70s, real chilly down to 39th for Friday morning. We're back up to the mid 70s for the weekend, so a bit of a cool down and a breeze on Payette Lake tomorrow, but it will warm up after that. So my Scott score, I reluctantly gave this an 8 out of 10. Because I don't like the breeze, I would have given it a 7 out of 10, but I'm trying to think of everybody. If you don't mind the breeze, we'll give it an 8 out of 10 because the sunshine, the temperature at 81, that is really, really nice. Wait till you see my Scott score coming up for the day on Thursday. I'll have that coming up, of course, tomorrow. In the meantime, the pollen counts in the extreme side right now, and the breeze could be a little annoying for some during the day. Now, across the region, uh, generally, I, I kept the sevens here, but there's really an eight for the Boise area. And I think everybody's going to have a decent day tomorrow. It's just going to be some wind that we'll be dealing with. Here's the Bronco forecast. I've updated these numbers. I brought them up a little bit. 70 at kickoff at 10 a.m. Halftime at Alberson Stadium. Noon time, about 79 degrees. High temperature, or I should say, Temperature for the end of the game, 85 degrees. It's going to be getting hot later in the of the game. Totally opposite of what we had, of course, with a, an evening game last time. So get ready for some heat later in the second half. But it will be a comfortable start. But that sunshine, bring the sunscreen because it's going to be sizzling. Here we see tomorrow the breeze coming through overnight tonight through tomorrow. There's the early morning clouds tomorrow. And then we clear things out with plenty of sunshine. And look at that temperature. 80 to 81 in the Treasure Valley. So there are the numbers. You see the cloud cover disappearing. There's your breeze. Northwest 10 to 18. Central Mountains. We see that temperature drop coming in, but it's going to remain dry in the McCall area with temperatures near 70 in Cascade. And look at this. The next couple days, low 80s. This is my pick day of the week. An absolutely spectacular day. Thursday, warm on Friday, and we're getting hot again into the weekend.